detective, you were saying that you uh, get them through a PDF. How is that PDF attached? Do you go to a website? How do you get to that PDF document? So it's within the same portal that my work email is attached to the case. So they provide like a case number and then they have a download link where you click on it and you download it to open up the file um, and they come as PDF files which is pretty much um, looks like it's just scanned paper and you go through the, um, each downloaded or each download they provide for you in this case they gave me three um, three downloads for two of Raymond's accounts and one for Vanessa Robinson's account. Did they give you any yeah. Your Honor, I, I don't object, but did you say two Raymond Davis accounts? I just didn't hear them. Yes, two accounts for Mr. Raymond Davis. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Did they send you any separate business record certification? Not within the not within those downloaded files. The only thing I have on top of the file, would, on top of each piece of paper, says, says Facebook business record. And that's just a one line across the top of each piece of paper within the PDF. That's correct. There's no separate certification about a person to contact contact at Facebook. There's not. Have you received more than one Facebook um, search warrant return under the same circumstances? For this case? Not for this case, just overall. Is that how you always receive a search warrant return from Facebook? From my experience, yes. Have you ever received a separate uh, business record document from Facebook in these search warrants that you've executed? Not that I recall, no. And um, the portal that um, you use to communicate with Facebook, tell me about who that's designed for. It's all designed for law enforcement personnel. Okay. Does that include state and federal law enforcement personnel? I mean, do you know any different way to get a hold of Facebook? They provide a lot of phone numbers and addresses, but from my experience and through their guidelines at that time... Your Honor, I object. I object. It's called to the extent of... Um, I object to speculation. To the extent of speculation. You speculate on how it's done. You said at the time in 2015, this is how it was done. So if you know, your, your knowledge is fine, if you have personal knowledge. Around that time frame, um, they provide guidelines on their website and or within the law enforcement portal. And I have to provide them a work email, which in this case would have been adam7775, m as in mary, at lvmpd.com. And they, I don't know how they do it, but they confirm that you're a you know, working entity with the police department, and they have you first request the preservation letter, and then they have you upload the search warrant when the link is provided at at their, I guess their this when they decide to do that. Um, but they do not give you, or correct me if I'm wrong, do they give you any contact information for someone? to um, certify that those are true and accurate records. Other than link, logging on through that portal, do you have any other mechanism? At the time, not to my knowledge, I, I don't. Did I have you go back and look for that certification? Yes, you did. Okay. Were you able to find any separate document other than the Facebook link? I was not. Um, the state would renew my request um, to have the detective look testified to the Facebook document. I object, Your Honor. On the grounds is hearsay. It goes to weight, not admissibility. Um, that is 
is the only foundation that we can lay for business record for that time frame. 